the American air raid siren. So powerful, it could cause rain. During World War II, the Chrysler air raid siren was used to clear fog for aircraft operations by causing mist to coalesce into rain. The Chrysler air raid siren was massive, roughly the size of a car, measuring 3.7 meters long, 1.8 meters high, and weighing around 2.7 tons. This enormous siren was powered by a 180 horsepower, eight-cylinder gasoline engine, which drove a two-stage air compressor and a rotary chopper. The compressor pushed 73.9 cubic meters of air per minute at nearly 0.5 kilograms per square centimeter through the rotary chopper to create sound. The compressed air escaped through six giant horns at a speed of 644 kilometers per hour, generating an incredibly loud noise measured at 138 decibels from 30 meters away. No other warning device could match the siren's volume. The main purpose of the Chrysler siren was to deliver a powerful warning in the event of a Soviet nuclear attack during the Cold War, 1947 to 1989. It was developed by Chrysler in collaboration with Bell Telephone Laboratories. Bell devised a novel sound generation design using high pressure air flowing through a chopper rotor, and Chrysler took this design into production. Chrysler manufactured three types of air raid sirens based on Bell's design. The first was the Chrysler Bell Victory Siren, produced in the early 1940s, with over 100 units sold across the United States. The original model used a 140 horsepower engine, while an upgraded version featuring a 180 horsepower engine was released in 1952. The U.S. government assisted state and county law enforcement agencies in purchasing and installing the sirens at key locations in densely populated areas. For example, Los Angeles County acquired six units, while 10 others were sold to agencies throughout California. Nicknamed the Big Red Whistle, these sirens were only activated a few times during routine tests. Their sound could still be heard up to 40 kilometers away. The Chrysler air raid siren was so powerful that the U.S. Navy used it to disperse fog during World War II. Fog posed a serious hazard for aviation at that time when aircraft were less advanced and pilots relied more on visual cues than on onboard equipment. Both the U.S. Navy and engineers from the Royal Air Force, RAF, experimented with various methods to dissipate fog. The British eventually resorted to using fire. Another method involved installing a series of Chrysler air raid sirens about 30 meters apart along the approach path for aircraft. The sound waves from this siren chain caused the fog particles to coalesce into rain. However, using sound waves to clear fog had a significant drawback. The noise was so loud it could rupture eardrums, causing dizziness and nausea. Airport workers protected their ears with foam-lined cotton pads but that wasn't enough to shield them from the intense air pressure changes. The noise also disturbed animals and birds in the area. A study published in Mechanics Illustrated in the 1940s suggested that ultrasonic waves could have a similar effect on fog without causing discomfort to humans and animals. The last Chrysler air raid siren was produced in 1957. Older units continued operating until the 1970s but eventually fell into disrepair from lack of use and maintenance. Many were removed from watchtowers and buildings to repurpose their engines for cars or were sold for scrap. A few still remain in their original locations, though rusted and beyond repair. Examples include one on the roof of the Weston Points at Hotel in Greenville, South Carolina, and another atop the Rochester Fire Department's maintenance building in Rochester, New York.